back to another episode of Vile Villain. I'm your villainous host, Edward. And I'm recording this on Wednesday the 23rd. Probably won't come out until tomorrow, but... PulseCon. Yes, got every damn thing I wanted. Very happy. Uh, if you don't know and you're interested, PulseCon is the 23rd and the 24th. It's the 23rd for PulseCon Premium members, which is like 50 bucks a year, free shipping, blah, blah, blah. I got it just for this because I wanted everything, everything I got, including a light wallet. But more than anything, I wanted that Cobra Commander Snake Supreme, which sold out really quickly. And I wanted the Heroes of Indoor box set, which is awesome, which also sold out really quickly. Everything else, to my knowledge, at this time, which is about 2 p.m. Pacific, is still up for sale. I'd go buy another Wampa if it weren't one per person. So I'm happy I got some cool stuff, got some Transformers, got some Ghostbusters, uh, Power Rangers, Marvel Legends stuff, just awesome. Other than that, there's not a lot of toy news going on. Uh, Funko did just uh, announce that they're releasing a whole bunch more of their pins, and there's some more Harry Potter, some more Star Wars, there's more, I don't remember what it was. Those Harry Potter pins are pretty cool looking, it's like all the animals. Oh, and uh, Dolby, Dobby, Dolby? Doobie. He's also the chase. Anyway, about a week ago, maybe less, Funko released a couple pops that were strictly online. It's kind of a bummer for a lot of people. HQ had them today. Purple Dumbo. This is to commemorate the Disneyland Resort 25th anniversary. Let's pop into it. This is a stiffer box than normal. If you haven't seen this, the whole box is kind of an off-white. It's kind of, uh, it makes it look old, antiqued, if you will. And I think they're using a different cardstock. Starting from the top. Well, this is Dumbo, and he is, well, he's purple. And he has a little hat on with a little point that's folded over. I'm not entirely sure what kind of hat this is, but it's kind of odd. Light blue in color. Dumbo's head is a light purple, as is the rest of his body. Printed on eyebrows, sculpted black eyes with eyelashes printed. A long sculpted curly nose, sculpted bottom lip, and big ass sculpted purple ears. Moving on down, this purple Dumbo has a pink frill around his neck. He's sitting with his back legs splayed out and his front feet on the ground. In a sitting position is a purple curly tail and white elephant toenails. Now to tell you the truth, I don't remember if I've seen Dumbo. I think I did as a kid, I don't remember. I also don't remember him being purple. I thought he was gray, like an elephant. 
but it's Disney, so they can be whatever damn color they want. It's a very good representation of Dumbo, purple or not. I approve. Funko exclusive, the purple Dumbo. Well, that Dumbo was probably a pretty big hint as to... My next pop that I'm going to review. So let's just get on with it. It's a blue Dumbo. Welcome, baby Dumbo. We're all family here. No matter how small. You have something very rare. You have wonder. You have mystique. You have magic. Wow! Come with me. Together, we can soar on that elephant's wings. What's happening? Where are they taking her? Take Dumbo back inside. But she's his mom. Do something. She needs us. Look at me. We're gonna bring your mama home. He doesn't look like magic to me. Your children need you to believe in them. On the Casey Jr. Circus train attraction. I don't know what that is. Let's pop into it. Here's something interesting. There's a diagram on the bottom of the box, and this box as well, that shows you how to break down this packaging and dispose of it responsibly. So make sure you throw away your boxes. I know you're all going to. Starting at the top, this Dumbo has a yellow hat, much like the last Dumbo, but it's a little uh, duller in the sculpting. A pointy hat that's sagged over at the top with a white brim that sticks up. Still don't know what kind of hat that is. This Dumbo has a gray head, sculpted on eyebrows, sculpted black eyes with those printed on eyelashes, large chubby sculpted cheeks, a twisted curly sculpted trunk, and a sculpted mouth. This Dumbo also has large gray ears. Moving on down, this Dumbo's body is all gray. He is just like the last pop I was speaking about. His hind legs are flat and splayed out. He's on his front feet and sitting on his butt. Sculpted curly tail and white painted toenails. This Dumbo is sitting in what looks like kind of like a train cart. I did say it's some sort of circus cart, so obviously it's to display whatever's in it. It's open at the top, completely blue with yellow accents. It has oval white tires, orange rims, yellow hubs. At either end of this cart is a way to hook it to another cart. One end has a hook, the other one has a loop. So ideally, if you had a bunch of these, you could actually hook them all together and drag them along. A lot of detail actually goes into this one. Uh, he is, uh, even though they didn't really need to, there's a lot of detail still below his neck where it's, uh, you have to really kind of look in there to see it. I'm assuming this might be more from the cartoon, even though they're both from a cartoon. This is probably a part in the cartoon. It looks a little more cartoony, if that's a thing. But for Disney and Dumbo fans, this is definitely a win. Dumbo on the Casey Jr. Circus Train Attraction, Funko exclusive. So it's contest time. I bet you guys would all love to know the winner. With quite a few entries from all over. But where I noticed we had the most entries from was Spain. And that's exactly why this person won. It was a random drawing. 
I punched it into one of those electronic things in the computer to do a random drawing, but it wasn't a surprise that this person won. I think he hooked up half a span. It's Rodrigo from The Rod Ram Show. Go check out The Rod Ram Show. It's all in Spanish, but it's a really cool show. Uh, I've actually met Rodrigo a few times. Really cool guy, so he really deserves it. Thanks a lot, Rodrigo. Get a hold of me, and I'll get this pop out to you. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this show, click that like button. <laughs> you haven't subscribed? Well, click the subscribe button. Do it. You know the goddamn routine. Like, subscribe. If you like these guys, you want to say something, or you want to call me a bad name, leave a comment. <laughs> you want to help out this channel? Go to the website, wildvillain.com. Pick up a toy, pick up a shirt. I still haven't put the shirts on. I apologize, it's coming. I swear, share the channel to your friends, on your networking platforms, all that bullshit. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and until next time, go f***. <laughs>